Hi there and welcome to this exciting episode of NX Daily Top 5 Music. On number 5, Rude Boy Entertainment presents this new song from its frontline act, Rude Boy, titled Somebody Baby. This is quite impressive from the Rude Boy himself after he split from his brother. Check it out. Moving up today on number 4, a certain news has been making the rounds on social media claiming that the song Yeba by Kiss Daniel promotes sexual assault. While we have different songs in the Nigerian music industry with a great tendency of doing that, Talking about Kiss Daniel's Yeba is really surprising, even though we have different perceptions. Moving up today on number 3, just days after the unfortunate incident involving a car crash which led to the death of Ebony and two others, singer Ofori Amfonsa has released a music to honor her. Ebony's wicked motor accident is still a matter that has shocked Ghanaians since the news broke every other activities within the media and entertainment industry is revolving around Ebony. Ghanaians are still in a state of shock as many dignitaries and celebrities have sent out their condolences to the bereaved family. Dignitaries including President Nana Akufo Addo, former President Mahama and others has paid touching tribute to Ebony. <laughs> Moving up today on number 2. Among all the music genres, hip life, hip hop, dancehall, R&B, reggae and etc. High life genre happens to be Ghana's indigenous music. Ghanaians gave birth to high life genre. However, artists who do high life are well respected because they seek to continue an aspect of Ghana's material culture. As a result, Bisak Day, a renowned contemporary high life artist, has stated categorically that Ghanaian musicians who are doing other genres of music aside high life are not recognized outside the world. Topping today's NX Daily Top 5 Music, On number 1, in an interview the talented producer Ade, even though he's cool with YC, it doesn't stop him from feeling legal actions against Tiny Entertainment for not paying him royalties for the success made from his produced 2017 jam, Juice. The producer explained that after the tiny sum he was given at the beginning, nothing has come from Tiny Entertainment and the fact that he has been quiet about it from the beginning doesn't make him look like a stupid person. To get the full gist, check out our website on www.ninjizi.tv and follow our social media platforms at Ninjizi TV for the latest updates. <laughs>